when I first saw the moustache, it made me laugh. It made me laugh so much because I thought to myself, like, I'm somebody that if I see somebody wearing something that I am want to get or something that I have in my wardrobe, I will sometimes not buy it or not wear it out because I don't want anyone to confuse me for that lame. And I'll purposely not wear it because I don't want anyone to say, oh, you've got the fucking Pharrell jacket. It's like, no, I bought this bit fucking before Pharrell fucking got it. But you don't want anyone to, you know, because no one's going to believe you because you're a fucking nobody. So I understand that. So I, I got these weird rules about stuff. All this to say, I go out of my way not to copy anybody with anything. Like, it's not something that I go out of my way. Or if I am copying somebody, I'm never going to do it blatantly. It's always going to be my own little twist on something, right? But I would never see someone's look and then try and copy it. It's never going to happen. And I would never be proud about doing it either, right? I might do it in secret when no one's seeing me, but I'm, nev- I'm never going to do it. I'm never going to admit to doing it. And if I did do it, I'll do it my own twist. So when I saw Brendan with his look, the immediate thing that just came to mind was like, oh, he's trying to look like that busting with the boys guy, that Taylor Lewin guy. Like, he saw how Taylor Lewin looks and shit, right? He's got his hat, he's got his fucking mullet, he's got his moustache thing going on. That's sort of like his thing. And he's trying to copy him. And I was thinking to myself, like, wow, man, we are so different as people or as men, personalities, because I would never do this proudly. Like, it would never be a thing. It would be something that I could never live with myself to do. So when I saw Shorb debuting his new moustache on the Shorb show, I was like, you know what? I can't really hate too much on this because he's just a different guy. Like, I just have never, how Brenda says, I don't know guys like this. I don't try and be this type of guy. And this to me is just so pathetic. It doesn't even bother even ripping into it because just watch it and just see him fiddling around with his new tash that he copied from Taylor Lewin. And then you're just like, wow, man, you're a grown man with kids, bro. Poppin' fam on the dot. It is 9 a.m. We are live. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. Look at him. What's poppin', kids? Uh, November 6th. Right, it, we're in November. We are in November, and things are going stupendously. Hopefully- and you can kind of see it's uneven, right? One side's longer than the other. It's a weird angle, and I want to say something as well. I don't get men like Brendan who spend all this money on watches, all this money on cars, all this money on hats, on trainers, whether they're fake or not. You're still spending money on them. But then you refuse to just go to the barbers and get them to line up your mustache properly, at least the first time. You don't need to do it all the time. Maybe you don't want to waste the money. But at least get them to do it the first time so you can follow the form that they're using because some guys like to have the mustache kind of following the natural curvature of their mouth as it kind of drops into their beard. Some people like to have it where it kind of ends at, at the end point of the corner of your mouth. Some people like to have it where it kind of follows the curvature of your cheeks on this side that kind of, they kind of run down from your nose. Everyone's got their kind of way of doing it, right? And maybe some ways can suit your face better. But sometimes it, it, it pays you just go to the barbers, go to the salon, whatever way we go, and have someone do it for you the first time so you can follow it yourself when you kind of do your own little shave routine at home. But for some reason, he spends all this money on cars, on hats and trainers, but that can't be bothered to go to a barber's and just get the tash fixed up. Especially if you're going to do it for the first look, your debut look out. The first time you're debuting this look with the baseball hat, um, the trucker hat, sorry, um, the baseball jersey, it's clearly a thing that you want to show off. I just don't get why he just didn't get someone to just do it the first time for him. Why didn't he do that? Why is he so cheap? He doesn't want to go to a salon to get someone to trim his moustache, but he spends money on all this other frivolous stuff. Like, surely the money will be best spent to get the tash fixed because you're on camera all the time. Like, surely. You guys had a great weekend. I was in Niagara Falls, New York, uh, about 20 minutes outside He's playing Buffalo. With it. Um, spent the, the entire weekend there. Before that, I was in Orlando, went to the Olympia. Um, Miss Seema. I miss Seema. I can't tell you how much that really irks me. I miss Seema. And uh, I just watched on Instagram everybody else having so much fun doing stuff I love with car builds and superchargers and blowers and valves. and. <laughs> I just can't get past this look. 
honestly, I just can't get past this look. This look is fucking crazy. Like, try and close your eyes and think about the Brendan that did the bike club thing, right? A couple of years ago. He's been reinventing himself all along. The bike guy, now he's suddenly a car guy and he's wearing hats and baseball jerseys. It's like, it's pretty sad, isn't it? In one way, it's kind of sad because he's in his early 40s. You'd think he'd have an identity already by now, but he's he's desperately searching for an identity, for a personality. And he's just doing it by just buying things and, I don't know, changing his look here and there without really fully changing him as a person. It's just, it's wild to see, man. It's just wild. This is wild. Wheels and tires and all sorts of stuff I want to see. But no, I was at the Olympia staring at dudes. So quite the difference, fam. Uh, that's all right. That's all right. People sent me pictures. It's just the same. Uh, Niagara Falls, never been. I'm 40. Never been to my Niagara Falls. Uh, so I felt like it's time to grow up, grow a mustache, and go check out Niagara Falls. And uh, you get there, and, uh, you know, it's a lot of water falling. And then you, you, you get there, and you just look, you go, oh, cool. And then you kind of just walk back, and that's all you do. Now, here's the thing that I'm going to tell you on the, on the United States side. Yeah, that's all I have to say, really. I've got nothing more to say about the whole moustache thing, apart from I don't understand why he's doing it, personally. Um, I think it doesn't really suit his face, to be completely honest. Everyone's got a different face for different things. I actually think the the handlebar moustache thing with the... So the handlebar beard with the moustache look suits him better than this moustache thing. He just hasn't got the face for it. Maybe the jaw, I don't know what it is, but it just doesn't suit his face. In my personal opinion, it just looks a bit weird. Um, obviously, it doesn't help that his debut look with this is cut weird. Obviously, he did it himself at home. It's the wrong angle. It's the wrong shape. The one side longer than the other. One side is short. Is shorter than the other. Um, it just looks a bit lopsided. He obviously should have gone to a salon, to a barber's, whatever, and got it done right the first time before stepping out. Um, but he didn't do that. And now he looks the way he looks, and it's been a it's going to last forever. This image, and he should have obviously taken a bit more time to kind of get that done. But it's just sad to see a guy in his early forties with kids, with a wife, with a somewhat accomplished career, who's so empty on the inside. That's the thing that kind of rings true on this, you know. He's so empty, like he's got nothing going on, and he's desperately trying to fill the void by doing all this stuff. It's like, bruh, just try and focus on yourself as a person maybe try and correct the mistakes that you've made or whatever uh repair some friendships relationships whatever you can do find a hobby or something i don't know but what is all like i don't get like what is taking someone else's look and making your own gonna do or don't make your own just copy and pasting it because that's essentially what he did in it right if you look at that taylor lewin guy um busting with the boy right taylor is it taylor lewin and he got let's see his Instagram. He's probably have pictures of his of himself on his Instagram, but he essentially just jacked that guy's look. It's just a weird thing to do. Like I don't get it. You know, like someone explain to me why taking this guy's look. It, what what's that's going to do? Do you think that's his way of trying to like hold on to his dream of being an NF being regarded as like a former NFL pro or something? Do you think so? That's what he's basically trying to do in a weird way. Because I don't really understand it. Because there was a point in time when he used to take the piss out of um, Theo Vaughn for his mullet. Now, all of a sudden, he's rocking the mullet. There was a time when I'm sure he probably took the piss out of the moustache thing. Now, he's doing the moustache thing. And it's like, bro, come on, man. Find your own identity, man. Like, you don't need to be jacking this guy's look. Like, really and truly. Like, I don't know. He seems to have a full, fun life on here doing his thing, and maybe Brendan just sees that and is like, you know what, I want that too. I want what that guy has, give me some of that. Which maybe is a the real sad part of it, right? Because maybe in some people's eyes, people look at Brendan and think he has everything. But then someone like that, even with all the opportunities he's been given and the success in the career he's had, even despite all of his L's and Harry Daxter that he is, somewhere inside him, he still feels empty enough that he would want to copy a man's entire look. <laughs> and pretend like he didn't copy it as well. That's the thing that's also kind of infuriating about him, right? He'll do this stuff, and then he'll look at you like you're a dummy if you bring up the Taylor Lewin thing. No, I didn't, I didn't copy him. It's like, yes, you did. Like, <laughs> we know you did. 
suddenly he comes on your pod, you start jacking him off, and then now all of a sudden you're the fucking baseball cap with the moustache guy and the mullet. It's like exactly the same look this guy's going for, or exactly the same look this guy's been doing, you know, for the longest time. It's really strange, man. I don't know. It's very, very odd. But that's what I have to say about the debut of the moustache, anyway, at least. The debut of the moustache was that um, it was a fucking bizarre, bizarre situation. Um, And yeah, man, what can you say? (laughs) What can you say? Like I said, we're not the same people. Because if that's me, if everybody's getting a moustache, I'm going to grow out my beard. If everyone's growing out their beard, I'm going to get a moustache. But I'm not going to just do the thing that everyone's doing. It's just something that's just not something that kind of, it's just not in my nature. 